use of eminent domain could possibly impact our municipal expenditures. That's one of the factors you need to look at. You don't have answers to these questions as far as I can see in, in, in any place in the record or in any presentation from Wayne. So I think, again, it's incumbent upon you to look for and get answers to those kinds of questions because of the, the, the possible impacts that that can have on your city. Yeah, the city also at, at impact on traffic should consider as part of uh, it, its uh, examination of traffic the fact that the pipeline is going to cross uh, an exclusive easement that Fiesta has on the property right across the middle, running from Crystal Avenue to the Platinum Creek Bridge for ingress and egress and for the location of its own utilities. So you run into a, a concern about traffic running right through the middle of this project um, so that the public has access to the, the adjacent Fiesta site. And I haven't really heard any uh, discussion or consideration about what's going to happen from a traffic standpoint for, for those kinds of issues and how the, the pipeline, uh, so the location of the pipeline, which looks like it's going to run di di directly across the exclusive easement, is going to impact that. Um, additionally, I heard just tonight for the first time, the six-foot berm is going to be built along the whole eastern side. It's not clear how that's going to be handled with regard to an exclusive easement uh, that Fiesta has. So those are just some additional traffic uh, issues that I think you need to consider. Um, an additional point is, that from a fire and fire risk standpoint, is that you only have, on this site plan, one route onto the whole 250 acres proposed for this public facility. The city's comprehensive plan shows two thoroughfares onto this site, but there's only one in the proposal. Before this, this conditional use permit application and site plan should be approved, the city should either amend its comprehensive plan or require a second access um, by means onto the, the, the particular site. It's clear uh, in this day and age that almost no residential developers and many developments of any type are not, they're not allowed to limit it to one way in and one way out for fire, public, and, and uh, police access because of the problems that can arise if that uh, particular uh, access gets blocked. So this limited access issue certainly exacerbates the fire risk associated with this. And while I heard there is no fire risk, it seems to me that you have molten liquid being poured out of any facility, and I've worked in a steel mill myself. That molten liquid hits anything that's flammable, fires can start. So um, as far as I understand, there, there, there is a fire hazard that hasn't really been talked about here. Um, finally, I have two more thoughts on, on conditions that you might want to place on this. Um, an issue was uh, is raised in my letter um, that the, the, the records that are are in the record from the geologic study of the, the contents of the Pea Ridge mine is that it contains uranium and other radioactive materials. In response to a question, Mr. Um, and it may not be in this particular memo, but I know that Mr. Niemeyer indicated that no uranium and no radioactive materials would be brought into the city for processing or for shipping. And I suggest to you that's a really major public health and safety issue that you want to put a condition expressly in this conditional use permit that would deny their any ability to bring those kinds of materials right through the middle of your city. Um, and then the second condition I submit to you that you might want to look at is that as I understand the, the phased uh, development of this project, the project is set up so that the large dock can be completed first with railroad spurs to bring iron ore straight ship to the barge dock on, on the river before the smelting uh, or the refining process is completed. If the barge dock turns out to be the only thing that's done because of either inability to, to put this furnace together technologically because it is improvement, because of economics, because of the market, because of whatever, you're not going to get the numbers of jobs that you've talked about. You're going to have about three jobs out on the barge dock, and you need to put as conditions in this permit somewhere that they 
have to complete both aspects of it. Under your lease, if you read it, which is in the record, you don't even get any fees if all they're doing is shipping iron ore through, through your city. So those are some things that I think you need to think about. Um, and you just need to consider what are um, the public health and safety issues here that, that you face, and, and, and you're entitled to get answers uh, and, and get those from the applicant. I thank you for your time. Gail Grinch. I'd like to submit this uh, for public record, but I'll bring it to you after the speech we do have today. It's hard to begin, but I'll begin by saying that what I have here is a, a list of questions that <clears throat> started as questions from constituents that were compiled and delivered to the council. Uh, Mr. Niemeyer from our recent consultants answered the qu questions. Um, I responded to those answers because I don't believe that they're properly answered. There are 182 questions and I would uh, like to submit them. Uh, I'll, I'll start off by saying I've had a total of about 15 minutes in all of these hearings to express my, my comments, my questions. I showed up this evening after looking at the agenda posted in City Hall, expecting for a public hearing. I showed up and saw an agenda posted outside the door that said that there would be rules. Didn't know what the rules were. I found out just a little while ago. I'll get maybe 10 minutes again. So maybe a total of 25 minutes before this is all done. Why is that important to me? Well, I live right next to it in case anybody doesn't know. Um, let me read the first part of this because this pretty much summarizes what this, the, the tone of this whole document. I want to read the ordinances, the ones that we really are paying attention to this whole permitting process. In section 9E2 of the city ordinances it says, in considering whether or not such application shall be granted, it shall be the duty of the city planning commission and the city council to give consideration to the effect of the required use on health, safety, morals, and the general welfare of the residents in the area in the vicinity of the property in question and the residents of the city generally. Now it doesn't say residents of Crystal City. It says residents in the 